Um, my name is Linda Xiang. So um, I'm very new to this conference. This is the first time I attend uh, by curation. And uh, for sure, it's very eye-opening experience for myself. Uh, so I came from uh, OICR Canada. Um, so OICR stands for Ontario Institute for Cancer Research. Um, so our team is led by Dr. Um, Melanie Cotto. So uh, we are working on the uh, as the data coordination center as well as the regional data processing uh, center for ICGC Argo project. I am sure many of you may not oops, yeah, uh, know what is ICGC Argo, so I just give very quick uh, um, introduction. So ICGC Argo uh, has the aim to uniformly analyze uh, specimens from 100,000 donors with high quality clinical data. So we are aiming to using this data to address the outstanding questions that are vital to, to our quest to defeat cancer. Um, so the, the project itself was launched in 2019, but due to the pandemic, uh, it got slowed down. Um, but as of the spring of 2023, we already create partnership with um, over 60,000 patients from um, 26 projects uh, from uh, 13 countries over the world. So um, as you can see that we, we still have a long way to go until our target. Um, so you may be very interested in what kind of data we are we are collecting. So it all starts with the patient uh, who kindly agrees to donate his or her daughter for our research. Um, for, for the clinical data set, we try to collect uh, three categories of data. So one are like uh, the diagnosis, the treatment, and another part is about the lifestyle data and also genetic history and the health data. So for this part of data, mostly they are in just in TSV format, very, very simple format. But uh, at the same time, we also collect um, molecular data. So for the genome analysis, we collect um, um, a whole genome, whole exome, and also the targeted sequencing data. And uh, for transcriptome uh, analysis, we, we collect the RNA-seq data. But in the future, we are planning to add in more data to our accepted data set and also do more complementary analysis. So for this molecular data, once we receive them, the next step is that we will do a uniformly uh, data processing, use the, the harmonized pipelines, basically the same pipeline, all the data goes through the same pipeline. And then once we generate the results, the analyze the data, we need to create a platform to, to distribute our data. So basically for our team, uh, we are not only create model, data model to accept data in, we also need to uh, kind of uh, to um, process the data and then design and then create the platform to, to distribute our data. So as you can see, the data can be very complicated. So um, the first challenge we have actually is that because different data, data could be submitted by different user types, uh, for example, clinical data submitted by clinician, but molecular data more often the time are submitted by, by bioinformatician, they have relatively different, like different expertise and the skill set. So the first challenge is that how can we make our system more user friendly? Um, so to tackle this, actually Argo take um, like a design a parallel data submission pass. So once um, the, 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 the donor's information have been registered into the system, 
And then um, different data uh, use, uh, users can take different pathways to submit data. So for molecular data, the bioinformatician will use the command line or submission workflows to submit their data. But uh, for, uh, for clinical data, the clinician will just uh, uh, use our platform, use the UI interface to do an easy data upload. Um, so for, for my presentation today, my focus more on the clinical side. But uh, we have a poster which talking about the clinical data model and essential. Yeah. Um, as you can see, data coming to our system, you take different paths. So that means there are potential data inconsistency, which because just the shared information could just uh, existing in both clinical side and the molecular side. So. To tackle this, actually, Argot just uh, assign the uniformly ID, try to track all the submitted ID, and then from the clinical side and the molecular side, we will provide the REST API just for the both system easily to communicate with each other, with each other, and then we maintain the source of truth on the clinical end. So. Um, but uh, for doing research, we do need good data. So how to make our data accountable? So that is the, the aim we want to see, to catch, to fix errors as much as possible, as early as possible, and also as per transparent as possible. So to do this, actually, Argo has designed the uh, molecular metadata model to collect information from the experiment, from the uh, sequencing lens, from the sequencing files, and then based on this model, we do a lot of the validation. Uh, there are many different categories of uh, uh, validation to address different uh, potential like uh, data issue, but uh, the in the very end, we will generate a report for the user to, to do the checklist. Yeah. So finally, because we have so much data to collect, and also we want to do so many validation. So the, the next question is that how can we make our system more reproducible, more scalable, and also more portable? So uh, Argo has utilize a modern and intuitive workflow, next flow workflow, to address this uh, issue, basically to ease the burden of the data submission, because there are so many steps we need to do. Um, so here, just to give you a very, a very quick overview of how is the workflow looks like, but uh, I do want to emphasize is that because all these steps are dockerized and uh, we wrapped it in the next flow, and also we do all kinds of sanity check and the cross validation in, in some of the steps. So we also support the CRAM submission and also getting data from EGA archive. So in the happy path, uh, potentially there are no human interaction or intervention are needed. Uh, and uh, in the end, you will get a receipt just to tell you, okay, your submission is done and successfully. So that is, um, um, uh, I, I want to summarize my presentation, like the data submission and the curation do play very important role in all the downstreaming data analysis. So Argo try to address all these challenges but by integrating our data validation submission and also we try to enable the following features into our system. So we expect that our solution could uh, maybe help and also contribute to the overall Argo project success. Okay, that concludes my um, presentation. And these are the funding information. And also, this is the genome informatics team at OSCR. Yeah, thank you for your listening.